Question A7, we're told that there's a small sphere that rolls down a, a track of constant length AB. There is the small sphere at the top of A and ending up at B. It's released from A, <clears throat> ends up at B, and what's measured is the time. This time, or delta T. We're told that that time is measured from A to B for different height values. So if height is going to change and A, B is constant, then what they are referring to is us changing the incline So here we would have A in the new height and another where we have A again and a new height. So that's the situation we're considering here. Student suggests that T is proportional to 1 over H. So what does that mean? T being proportional to 1 over H. If T is proportional to 1 over H, and then T is equal to the proportionality constant times 1 over H. Whenever we see an equation like this, we should be thinking, how does this compare to a straight line? And so we have Y equals MX plus B. The first thing for us to note is that the y-intercept part is missing, so it is plus zero. There is no y-intercept. A y-axis would be t, the slope would be k, and the x-axis would be 1 over h. So if this is the relationship, then a straight line with y-intercept equal to 0 should be drawn through the data. So this is the work we're doing. We've only read this first sentence. Students suggest that. To test the hypothesis, they've graphed t against 1 over h. Well, t would be y, 1 over h, x. And if you notice, you will see that's exactly what we came up with on our own, independently. So if this is the relationship, that is what sh they should graph. The uncertainty in T is shown, and the uncertainty of 1 over H is negligible. So now we have the graph. We will perform an Oizerga analysis. The origin is 0, 0. So we are located in the coordinate plane right there in quadrant 1. The y-axis is time in seconds, and we see here to here is 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, so this goes by 0 0.1 seconds. The x-axis is 1 over h, and we can see that there is 2, and there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 increments, so it goes 2 divided by 5 would be 0 0.4, and we can check, check that 0.4. 0 0.6, 0 0.8, except I'm supposed to count by 0.4s, 0 0.4, 0 0.8, 1.2, and 2.0. So this goes by 0.4s. The intercepts, well, their curve is not drawn for us, but we could draw a curve. And if we were to do so, a best fit curve, it looks like it's fairly close to a straight line, but notice when we <clears throat> perform it like that, it misses quite a number of points. Trying again. What we have there, that could be argued to pass through all of the points. What we look for is to see whether or not the point misses the vertical part of the error bar. 
and we can see those two locations did, we would need to raise that up just a little bit. But in any case, if there, if there were a y-intercept, it would be about, the y-intercept would be about 0 0.5 seconds. So what's interesting then is we already said that for this to be true, a straight line should be drawn through the data, but we have a y-intercept of zero. It is not zero. So we can determine right away that this is not a correct relationship for this graph. It is not the relationship they think because there is a y-intercept that's non-zero. The quantities we can read, time measured in seconds, and 1 over h measured in per meters. The slope is delta t over delta 1 over h, which when we rearrange it is delta t times h and has units of second meters, not, a, not a units that we recognize nor a formula we recognize. The area would be time multiplied by 1 over h, which is time over h, having units of seconds and meters. Seconds per meter is an awful lot like meters per second, which is velocity. So seconds per meter would be 1 over the velocity. In any case, this may very well be, if we are asked to get the area, the area might represent 1 over the velocity. Next question asks us, so we are now just doing our due diligence, understanding what's going on here so we can interpret the graph. We're suspicious of this relationship, and now we are asked to draw a straight line through the data. It is telling us to draw a straight line. Whether we think it was a straight line or whether we had already done that, now we erase that line, and we set out to draw a new line that would be a straight line. When asked to draw a straight line, we must use a ruler, a straight edge. We now see that for each one of these, the blue line passes through the, is on the vertical part of the error bar. That's a very close one. That's a very close one. And that's a very close one. So it is doubtful whether this is really a straight line since it pushes the, the uh, bounds of the uncertainty, but we can use a line to model this equation. 